drop the brace. What's up, guys? It's Ryan here from Full House RS, and today I wanted to talk about the new Guthix lore that came into the game, along with, uh, I guess it's technically the Easter event. I'm not really sure how it relates to Easter. Um, so basically what it is, is every day you can catch up to 20 butterflies, and every 5 butterflies unlocks a memory of Guthix that he kind of like... He doesn't talk to you specifically, it's just kind of like he's talking about it. Uh, the stories actually have a lot to do with the lore behind While the World Wakes, The World Wakes, whatever it's called, which I found to be like a very interesting quest, so obviously I looked up the lore, and I kind of wanted to tell you guys about it. So basically it's about Guthix and how he was before he was a god. So he had a on his home world or whatever, I forget the name of it, he had a daughter named Aji, and one of her dreams was to become a butterfly catcher, where I guess is where his idea for the butterflies come, as like the symbol of Guthix. And so they they have that talk about like her future. She wants to become like a divinist or something. I don't really know what that means. And uh and the next memory they talk to a nomad who tells them of a magical disturbance near Askaroth, which is kind of like the capital of their world, and that a blue giant was there, and he, I don't know, he somehow got into their world. But basically, he, the blue giant gets angered by Guthix's people, and eventually starts kind of like terrorizing them, and after a while, it's confronted by some large creature named... They call it Tusca or something. And after a while, you like, the big blue giant leaves. And Tusca is just kind of like destroying Guthix's world. And it's getting closer and closer to Guthix where he lives. So eventually, some other warrior called Skagareth, he had some kind of like sword and he came and fought the Tusca. And they were fighting and they eventually fell onto Guthix's house and killed his daughter. And Guthix got really upset and he picked up the sword that this uh, Skagaroth thing had. And he killed both the Skagareth and the Tusca. And the sword was actually the sword we found in the quest that was like broken into pieces. It was an elder sword, an el elder artifact or whatever. And basically what happened when he killed them both with the sword... He got, like, some kind of, like, understanding of the universe, I guess. And eventually he found that he could move through worlds. And he would kind of, like, go to a world and see how it was. There was, like, a million different worlds that he went to. And eventually he found Gelinor. And he thought it was so beautiful that he brought um, creatures like humans and gnomes. I think maybe dwarves, too. And they kind of, like, lived in harmony and he had met Saren, who is the god of the elves, who we don't know much about. And he became great friends with her. And he he understood that he didn't want to be there. He didn't want the mortals to, like, worship him. So he was going to leave Gielnor, and he told Saren to do the same thing. But uh, what Guthix did is he went to sleep, and we're not really sure what happened to Saren. All we know is that she... Well, we're assuming that she left, and that when Guthix woke up, she just wasn't there. And, uh, he... So he went to his first sleep, and when he woke up, because of the God Wars, he went and, you know, resorted that conflict, and he saw Ceridomen and Zamorak fighting each other. And Ceridomen was actually the big blue giant that was terrorizing his world, believe it or not. Because I don't know why Ceridomen is just a dick. And Zamorak, he, that's when Guthix used the edicts, and he cast them out of the world. And uh, this actually kind of explains, um, if you did while the world, the world wakes, I keep calling it, like, while Guthix sleeps. Um, Guthix, he kind of, like, says that he doesn't know about Zeros. And that's because when Guthix went to sleep, Zeros... 
when and then he woke up, Zeros had already been and gone. Zeros came in the first age, and then he, he had, by the time that Guthix woke up, Zamrak had already stabbed him with the staff of Armadillo, and he had been gone for a while. Also, apparently, um, I'll put a picture of it now quickly. The uh, crown that you see on Ceredomen, which we've seen in while Guthix sleeps, and we've seen it in The World Wakes when you see him both times. Um, it's actually an Elder Artifact, and it kind of sounds like a combination between The Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Like, it's like and the Elder Artifact that will lead you to other Elder Artifacts, and it will draw other Elder Artifacts to people... To him, I don't know. So, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of, like, Horcruxes and then the ring. I don't know why. Um, it's pretty interesting stuff. And I'm really looking forward to finding out more about Guthics. Uh, to catch the butterflies, they also give experience in your lowest skill. Um, as you can see, I did mine in Polniviich, but anywhere is pretty good that there's not really that many people. I heard, like by the Barbarian course, and I know whenever I go to ports, I see a bunch there in the Grand Exchange, but yeah, you can find them pretty easy, and uh, aside from that, guys, I'll leave you there, enjoy the rest of your day, bye.